This past weekend, we took our first holiday and traveled up to the Coromandel Peninsula, which is in the northeast portion of the North Island of New Zealand. We started off in the small town of Thames, driving there on Wednesday night, and spent staying the night at a bed and breakfast. After we made a few new friends there, and Lena got to pet the kitty, we traveled further north, up from Thames along the water's coast. The first place we stopped was a World War I museum, which overlooks the Firth of Thames, and is a befitting memorial to the fallen soldiers of World War I, who were from New Zealand. This overlooks the Firth of Thames and the mainland beyond. From there, we set out along the coast and traveled further north. It was a perfect day for traveling, and the clouds were quite agreeable. We made a side trip into the Coromandel Forest and climbed what seemed to be an endless number of stairs to see the, this ancient cowry tree. This tree is over 1,200 years old and was preserved in the 1890s when the forest was cleared. After returning to the Pacific Coast Highway, we traveled further north to the town of Coromandel and went and visited the area of Long Bay. The travel across this area was quite rewarding and that it afforded us quite a few views of some beautiful waterways, mountain peaks, and estuaries. Once we got to Long Bay, Mommy and Lena decided to play around while Daddy went for a walk. These waterside homes overlooked the waterway, which at the moment had receded for this unlucky fisherman. After a while, we went for a walk, and Daddy and Lena decided to play in the water. In the meantime, Mommy took pictures of shells, more shells, and more shells. Well, Daddy and Lena decided it was time to hurry up and go because we had another visit to make. We left the Long Bay and traveled over to an area where there was a private land with an old train built on it. This land was purchased by a former teacher in the 1970s for the clay that was available at the base of the land. Over the last 25 or 30 years, they have built a railway system throughout the 60 acres in what appears to be a dense jungle forest. Once taking the train up to the top of the hill, you are afforded some beautiful views of the waterways which look out onto the Firth of Thames. This included a look looking directly out onto Long Bay, which you'll be able to see here in just a moment. Long Bay is the main waterway here directly in the middle of this photograph. We had a good time, and Lena seemed to be bouncing back and forth between both Mommy and Dad. This is a video of Ha Hai Beach, and it marks the southernmost portion of 